everybody, it's your girl, Nisa Chai. And this is your boy, Anton Milton. I am Real Talk Cam. This is Elder Don Hines. And you are tuning in to Living the Vision with Lady G. Lady G. Lady G. You are watching Living the Vision with Lady G. back with Melinda Watts. Melinda, thank you so much for joining us on Living the Vision. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad to be with you. Absolutely. It is our honor. You are just a worshiper at heart. Amen. Amen. And you just invoke God's presence and so that you can take his people into his presence so that they'll never be the same again. Amen. I desire to do that. I think it's an honor just to be able to sing for God. Mm -hmm. Amen. So how did you start off with singing? Let, let's just go back a little bit, just in case our viewers don't know you and haven't Googled you yet. Okay. Just real quickly, let's tell our viewers how long you've been singing for the Lord. I've been singing since I can't remember, probably five or six years old. Music doesn't run in my family. Okay. So I have just a gift from the Lord, and mm -hmm. I started singing in my church choir. Mm -hmm. Been just all through my life, just been singing in church. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Now, I just experienced you in the audience at this concert that we're at right now, mm -hmm. and you just invoked his presence. Holy Spirit, you Just as we would have a guest to, at our house, you know what I mean? And so that's how I feel about the presence of God. I want to acknowledge his presence. I want to honor him. And so that's just my heart when I sing. I really try to remove myself and really invite God to be with us right here. And it's really an honor to Amen. be able to do that. Amen. Well, I experienced that. I was just like, welcome. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to be one of your background singers. It's okay. You can join me. <laughs> now, I want to talk to you because I know that you're working on some new music. Mm -hmm. That's why we really wanted to bring you on with Living the Vision with Lady G. Talk to our viewers about the new music, when they can expect it, you know, the, the theme, where you're going this year, this time with it. This time with my album, I am going to be really, really intentional about the music because it, I wanted to speak about my relationship with God, my journey over the years since my last album. I've grown so much. God has done so many amazing things in my life, and I really want to bring that to the music. So there may be some songs that you are familiar with, and there will be some original songs. So you can expect something in 2016. <laughs> Um, it's going to be good. I'm really, really excited about it. It's been a long time coming, but I'm super excited mm -hmm. about this season. Oh, that'll be great. Now, are you writing any of the songs that are on this album or working with producers or songwriters that you've worked with in the past? Or are you working with new people? And if so, how did you come to those decisions? Well, we're just getting started and very, very early in the stages of recording. But I want to definitely write. I want to connect with up-and-coming writers. I believe that this generation it has like a direct access to the heart of God. So I am looking forward to working with new writers as well. Amen. That will be great. So yeah. if you hear that, then maybe you have like um, a social media yeah. um, campaign okay. or. And I want you to help me with it. You can tell all your viewers, Lady G, <laughs> Melinda Watts is looking for music. That's what we're going to tell them today. <laughs> you heard it here first. I told y'all. That's, that's exclusive. in my description. That's what I'm saying. You get it the is. exclusives. We try to right tell y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you know what my tagline is what with is? one of them. Got a few of them. But this one is, you. I find out things about people that you won't find on Google. Boom. Boom. That's deep. <laughs> you can't find it on Google. <laughs> you good. You good. Yeah, 
that, but I would love to do that. Um, to talk about it on social media about mm-hmm. looking for music and things like that. I'm super excited about That's it. That's great. Like to give people opportunity. Yep. That's it's all they need. Mm-hmm. I wanted that. I wanted to just have someone take a listen and, you know, acknowledge something I was trying to do. So I I do believe that. That's a good thing to do, give people a chance to put it out there. Well, listen, you have that new music coming up, and you have so much going on. We want to invite you back to have a full exclusive Exclusive. sit sit down, and you'll be back on Living the Vision, and we'll talk more about your music, where you're going, this possible contest, opportunity that you're presenting to people. Will you come back and join us? Absolutely. You'll be my first stop. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Lady J, <laughs> why you got me acting up on this? You got me acting up. Okay, so but before we go, okay, okay I want to talk to you. This one thing that I like to ask a lot of our guests, mm-hmm. um, the show is called Living the Vision with Lady J, as you know, mm-hmm. and a lot of people are afraid mm-hmm. to live out the vision that God has shown them mm-hmm. regarding their life. Mm-hmm. Many people have dreams that he has given to them, Mm -hmm. visions that he has shown them, but they're afraid to Mm -hmm. take that step. Mm -hmm. And so I like to talk to people who are stepping out in the deep, who's trusted him, Mm -hmm. who has gone past those barriers of fear Mm -hmm. and those voices of doubt Mm -hmm. and anything else that would try to stop you from moving forward in what God has called you to do. You know he's right there. You know he's Mm -hmm. telling you, but voices that are not from him speak a little louder sometimes Mm -hmm. than he does. Can you just look in the camera and encourage our viewers about trusting the Lord and how you came to that place of living the vision that he has set for your life? I want to encourage you to know that the fear sometimes is a part of the journey. Mm -hmm. But if you change your relationship with that fear, if you make up in your mind that every time you're afraid, that's your cue to dig deeper. Because sometimes fear is an indication of that's the direction you should go. And um, I want to encourage you that when God gives you something, even the highs and the lows, the peaks and the valley, that's all a part of your journey. Don't forsake the the low parts, the hard part. Those are the times where he's making you. So embrace the valleys and embrace the peaks and embrace the fear, honestly. Not saying embrace it like you just take it on, but change your relationship with the fear. Use that as an indicator. If I'm afraid of this, if I'm scared to step out, that's where God wants you to go because the enemy wouldn't fight you unless it was for your purpose. So that's what I would say. What did you say? Change your relationship with fear. Absolutely. It's not like fear is not going to come. We're human. But if you change your perspective on that fear and understand that fear rises because it's greatness, Mm -hmm. you're not afraid of anything that you can already handle. Right, right. But it's an indicator that that's where you should go. And you have to conquer that fear. And so me personally in my life, Mm -hmm. I got indicators of the direction God wanted me to go based on my fear. That's how I knew God wanted me to keep singing, keep going, start this program, launch out in faith and do that because I was always scared. And once I said, oh, okay, I'm afraid of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Holy Spirit, I need you to help me conquer that. And that's how I know. That's so tweetable. (laughs) We're going to tweet that. Tweet it. Yes. And give full credit. Now, you got to give folks their credit. And then also I see you have this shirt. Let us see it fully. Worthy. Period. Period. Talk to us about that. You are worthy of God's love. And once you understand that you're worthy, sometimes we feel like we don't deserve God's love, number one. Then we feel like we don't deserve somebody else's love. Mm -hmm. Then we feel like we're not worthy to be treated with respect, with honor, to be blessed. You are worthy. God designed us to receive those things. And so that's what this shirt means, worthy, period. Like, no excuses, period. And I need to not only embrace my worthiness, but also carry my life out as if I know that I'm worthy. That is, girl, you break it. I don't settle. Take your time. I said, take your time. I don't settle because I'm worthy. And I know that now. It took me a long time to get here Mm -hmm. for me to put it on a shirt. Mm -hmm. I've been through things, but now God has shown me you're worthy of this. So, You know how many strongholds are going to come down in our audience viewers' minds? Mm -hmm. Because so many people are dealing with the underlying issue of unworthiness and may not even know it. Right. May not even know some of the habits, some Mm -hmm. of the behaviors, some Mm -hmm. of the mindsets Mm -hmm. is from the stronghold, Mm -hmm. from the thought Mm -hmm. subconsciously of unworthiness. Yes, it's a byproduct of grace. Mm. Grace says you're worthy. Mm. Grace doesn't judge you. Grace doesn't keep an account. Love doesn't keep an account. Right. You're worthy. There's there's no there's no excuse. It's like you deserve God's best. You deserve his love. Period. Period. (laughs) 
And before we go, I want to talk to you just slightly about your glam camp. Okay. That is an awesome sauce idea and vision that God had you birth. Mm -hmm. Tell our viewers about your glam camp. I used to be a high school teacher, and while I was there, I ministered to a lot of my students. And Glam Camp is a leadership and mentoring camp for girls ages 12 through 22, college age. And we basically um, minister to girls, and we bring them to a camp every year on both coasts. And we have them learning things about leadership, but all being empowered by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So it's like a church revival. It's a camp. It's a sleepover. It's fun. It's makeup. It's Ian Slain in the spirit, it's a bunch of things, but mm -hmm. all to empower the next generation, mm -hmm. to let them know that you are to carry the mantle for your friends, mm -hmm. for your generation, not me, but you. Yeah. Yeah. And if they want to find more information about, if they want to participate Absolutely. in 2016, how can they get in touch with the Glam Camp? They can go to www.glamcampforgirls.org. Mm -hmm. And the Worthy Teach shirt, are you selling these? Is this part of your, your brand? Yes, absolutely. They'll be able to purchase these shirts, and mm -hmm. I want to give some away exclusively with you because these just came out. We can Amen. give some away on your social media. Amen. That would be great. Yeah. But for those who, who want to purchase yes. yes, they can go to the website mm -hmm. and purchase the Worthy shirts. Um, we also have rings that say, I am enough. Mm -hmm. So they can get a lot of good, inspiring, truth-speaking um, fashion there. Okay, so tell us what the website is www.glamcampforgirls.org. Okay. Wow, you have so much going on. That's why we're bringing you back. <laughs> Again, thank you so much. We really thank appreciate the time. We just enjoy the ministry that God has blessed you with Amen. and that how your yes is talking and ministering to so many people, Amen. especially with this worthy and the glam camp. We just appreciate Amen. the yes that you gave to God. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Thank so you. Melinda will be back with us in a couple of weeks. But until then, we know that you have enjoyed our time with her. And we'll, when we come back, we'll talk about new music and all that's going on. Again, thank you so much for watching Living the Vision with Lady G. And we'll be right back. This is Lady G. Lady G.